Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we're checking out Tech Evasion's T-Imager. What can we say? We're back again with Tech Evasion. They just keep churning out these plugins that are simple to use, easy interfaces, and very powerful. This time we're talking about T-Imager. This is a mid-side processor. So if you're a Studio One user, but you're not a Studio One Pro user, mid-side has been kind of limited. You don't have the splitter plugin and you're at the mercy of whatever plugins you have. Yes, there are absolutely some workarounds and we'll get into some of those in a different video, but when we're working with plugins that offer mid-side capabilities and you can use it inside Studio One Artist or any other DAW, come on, that's a win-win. So let's dive into the DAW and take a look at T Okay, so like we've seen with other Tech Evasion plugins, here it is, T-Imager. Very similar layout, very similar looking user interface that we've seen with all of their plugins. Let's very quickly go over the very standard ones, input meter on the left, and obviously you can adjust how much you're driving into this plugin. Same thing on the right, there's your output. Balance in the center. This is where we can lean our audio without doing a bunch of encode and decoding to get to mid side. We can lean our balance to either favor the mids or favor the sides. And fair warning, you may want to listen to this video on headphones or on your studio speakers. On a mobile phone, it's probably not going to translate very well. But here's where things can get really crazy really fast. So this big balance control in the center, if you drag it down and pull it to the left, you're favoring your mids. And if you go in the opposite direction, you're favoring the sides. And if you go all the way up, you're only listening to either the mids or the sides. The way I have it right now, we would only be listening to the sides. If I drop this all the way down, now we're only listening to the information coming straight up the center. So if you ever wanted to just check what's coming from the sides or what's in just the center, here you go, you could do it right now, but that's not the purpose of this plugin. This allows us to rebalance the sides versus the mids. Maybe you have a song that's very mid forward. Instead of going back in and remixing the entire thing, you could throw this on your mix bus and just favor the sides a little bit more. That'll drop the mid channel and kind of balance things out or make it sound wider. Underneath that, we have two sets of identical controls. So we're gonna go over one, but I'm gonna show you real quick. The ones on the left handle the mid frequencies and the ones on the right handle what's happening on the sides. So you have your boost, solo, filter, and EQ for both your mids on the left and sides on the right. That's on the plugin, not your left versus right. You know that. So let's go over the big controls first. Filter. This is the cutoff frequency and basically a low cut for either your mids or sides. Using these, you could kind of rebalance where the energy is in your productions. Maybe on the sides, you want to roll off all your super lows because you want those punching up the center. So I can just kind of dial this up to, let's say, 83. And now on just my sides, I'm losing all of my super low information and allowing that to come right up the center, which is where I want all of that energy anyway. Same thing with the mid frequencies. Like we said before, it's just a cutoff for your lows. Then you have your EQ control. In its default configuration, this is a tilt EQ. So you can either raise the highs and lower the lows or vice versa, raise the lows and lower the highs on your mid or sides. So if you really wanted, you could favor a darker mid and have some brighter sides to help emphasize or create that width that this plugin can help you do. Now let's talk about boost and solo. Solo is exactly what you think. If you just want to listen to certain information without using the balance control, because maybe you dialed something in, you can just hit solo on that band. And then right here, we're listening to just the mid information. Switch over. Now you're just listening to the side information. And then on both the mids and sides, you have the boost button. What the boost button does is transforms the tilt EQ into more of a smile EQ. So it's going to boost both the lows and the highs and give us that nice smile curve that we kind of all are used to hearing. So you can take either your mids or sides, turn on boost, and then adjust to get a nice smile curve. 
and that's it. Aside from that, you have an A, B up on top, bypass button, and then your menu like we've seen in all of the other Tech Evasion plugins. So we don't really need to dive into all those. But I will say, just like all the other ones, oversampling built in. All right, that's all of our controls. Now let's take a listen to this thing in action. I have this across my mix bus so that you guys can hear absolutely everything that's going on. And the song we're working on is called Pedal Down by Walter Tompkins. I'll put a link to the song through Spotify in the description down below. Thanks, Walker, for sending this over so we can have some fun. So on its own, without T-Imager on, here's where our balance is for the entire mix. She was So there we go, full mix, everything going on, vocals, backgrounds, keys, acoustics, guitars, bass, percussion, blah, 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 blah. We have everything going on here. Now let's turn T-Imager back on, and this part is gonna sound weird because we're just gonna use the balance, and I'm gonna shift everything to mono or the mids, and then I'm gonna shift everything to just the side information. That's where things are gonna get weird, so get ready for this one. She was real. So you can see how with just the one control, you can go ahead and go in and rebalance the mids versus the sides. If this was very mid heavy, I could just kind of favor the sides a little bit more. And I didn't say it earlier, but at 0.5, this is just not doing anything. So if we wanna favor the sides a little bit more, we can push up this way. Let's dial it in so that our sides are just a little bit stronger, kind of giving us a little bit more width. She was Okay, so doing this, we're definitely getting a little bit more width. It's pulling the mids out a little, but I'm losing some of the low end. I'm losing the punch of my kick. So let's start dialing some stuff in. Uh, first things first, because we're favoring the sides and I don't need any low end information in my sides, I'm gonna use the filter and just bring this up to, let's say 87. I'm kind of eyeballing it right now, but I know I don't need any super low information on the sides. That's reserved for my mids. That's the way I like to do it. Then what we could do as well is we'll do this as we're listening and we'll brighten up the sides, but then we'll darken the center or our mids to bring some of that punch back. Let's do that in the mix. She was real high, oh my, zero to 60, all of that same speed, no time. You know, not bad, but the mid EQ tilt isn't doing it for me. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna hit boost and turn this into a smile curve to kind of bring some of those lows back. And yes, in my mids, I'm going to have the top end boosted as well, but I don't think it's gonna be a bad thing. Let's find out together. She was
with a couple quick turns, what we've done is kind of given some height and some width to this song. And using the boost and the smile curve, we didn't lose any of our low end. So we've we've done a few different things with six controls, maybe. We've adjusted the balance. We increased the smile curve of just our mids to bring some of the punch back or the low end of the kick drum. That's where I was losing it the most. I cut off some of the low end information from the sides. We didn't need that. And then I've actually even brightened up the sides. Now, yes, for the sides, it says EQ minus 2.4. My opinion, ignore the numbers. Just use your ears and dial it in. I started by boosting because I thought it was gonna boost the top end where really it went in the other direction. So that's why I went negative. But I used my ears. I don't care what the number says. Then to just kind of balance things out, I adjusted the output. I was adding a bunch of information and I'm using this on my mix bus. I don't want to just convince myself that it's better because it's louder. So I level matched by ear and just brought it down about a dB. And it's really adding a lot of height to the song and a lot of extra width and sparkle. If you didn't hear it, go back. I'll make sure to put chapters in this video. Go back, listen on your studio monitors or in your headphones, and you'll hear it kind of just lift up. And you're not losing any of the mid information, but you're gonna have a new sense of a ceiling being kind of expanded away from you. Really kind of cool. So there it is, that's Tech Evasion's T-Imager. This is a brand new plugin, it just came out. If you wanna pick up your copy, use the link down in the description. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. To join the community or ask about mixing or lesson information, you can join the Discord, there's a link down in the description, or you can visit the brand new and updated timplansbaum.com. That will also be linked down below. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.